Hello, I'm Mario, and today we're going to mount this K-Series side mirror on this Chevy Colorado. So this K-Series side mirror is model 3891, and when it came shipped to me, it wasn't oriented uh, this way in the vertical position. It was oriented uh, the other way in a horizontal position. So I'm opting uh, for this. I don't have a very wide trailer that I'm pulling. It's just under uh, eight feet wide, the body of it is. In fact, it's probably closer to seven feet. Before we begin, I want to make sure everybody understands that this video is not an instructional video on how you can install your mirror. I'm just showing you guys what I did to my mirror strictly entertainment purposes only. In order to change the orientation, there's a little uh, screw here. I used a number two Phillips screwdriver. I removed the screw entirely, pulled the mirror out away from the bracket and then rotated it, inserted it, and then retorqued the uh, Phillips screw here. And I'm being careful not to move the mirror around because my experience is that if you just keep twisting and moving this around on that adjustable ball there it's going to start vibrating as you drive and so on and so forth so i'm going to wait for the final tuning and only do it as as little as possible that's the idea there i purchased this mirror online through e-trailer this video is not sponsored by e-trailer or the mirror manufacturer i'm just sharing my experience here with you guys so it comes with two of these brackets here the newer models the way i understand it has a little ratcheting system to help you cinch down the mirror ex the mirror extension to your existing side view mirror but i'm going to loosen up these two screws here so that i can get this bracket kind of parallel on my mirror here. And once I have those close, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just cinch them down a little bit. The first thing I wanna do is get this strap adjusted in a way. And so I'm gonna hook it here on this top part. And then I can get this bracket here give myself some extra slack or adjust it in as necessary. Not the easiest thing in the world. Another thing to note is that these little brackets here, they can easily slide in and out of that little groove. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself plenty of room, both on the plastic side and on the rubber side that hoops through. So with the extra length, I'm hoping to be able to fine tune the overall desired length. It took me about four different tries of trying it this way, trying it that way, having the cleat down here, having the cleat up there. The thing to remember is that when you ratchet, when you ratchet the system, this rubber is gonna stretch and all of the brackets are gonna move. The one thing I did find is that getting the bottom on latched on first was most helpful. I'm gonna start with the rubber one here and just start bringing that in. I don't know if you can see here, but I have one of the straps oriented opposite how the other one is oriented because the support on the back, it's thinner on one side than the other. So you want to see, maybe you have it oriented this way or that way, see what best fits your mirror. In my case, I think I'm going to put the thicker side towards the top and then simply adjust where it rests on the mirror. On the outside one, I think I'm going to offer a little more length on the rubber part and then the ratcheting part I'm going to have try to sit over here. Here I am ratcheting it in. And 
the other one in. As I go, the other thing I'm doing is I want to make sure that the four clasps, because these clasps move, so I'm going to give it slack by pulling on, pulling on each of these, make sure that the cleat is sitting where it wants to. I'm going to go ahead and flip those safety guards back. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it's going to work. And I'll go ahead and go ahead and torque down those two screws here. There's an additional two screws here and here coming this way. So if I have to, I'll remove this mirror. With that screw, this will slide right out. And then I can access those arms there, finish torquing it. And this is where you can orient it this way or this way. And then I'll just finish screwing that in. All right. Not to over torque it, but everything seems kind of snug. I'm happy with that. I'll let you guys know what I think about this system. I don't think it's a permanent solution, but for short trips and it's going to help out getting to the next step. I have the mirror extender mounted on the passenger side and I opted to do just one mirror on the passenger side versus having them on both sides. And so I'm going to try to use this, uh, this little spotter mirror. I picked this up at Walmart and it's going to be trial and error but i'm thinking i'm going to go ahead and just mount it up here on this corner i've already tried different uh sitting you know while sitting in the driver's seat i've tried different corners and i think this is going to be the uh the one that's going to work best so it's not a really difficult installation but i wanted to illustrate what i'm doing on this side since I'm not going to have the mirror extender on this side. Ultimately, I think the solution is going to be cameras, but cameras can get uh, rain and fog and, you know, they're not always the best. So this is going to be some trial and error. And I want to thank you guys for checking out this video and hopefully there'll be more exciting ones to come in the future.